joins us now from the White House. Major, the White House says the president is in listening mode, but he has suggested a number of options to combat gun violence. Do we have a clear picture of what the president wants? No, we don't, and we're not even sure if the White House is going to send a package of legislation to Congress in reaction to this most recent mass shooting at a high school. The White House is still deliberating that internally, and it may just leave all this up to Congress, the Republican majority, to see what votes it can or cannot put together and what it's willing to do. So there is this space that the White House is occupying right now, and it's kind of a holding pattern. These televised listening sessions are really designed to do just that, buy the White House some time to see if this political atmosphere genuinely is changing around the question of not just school safety, mental health, but gun control legislation. And along with it, if Republicans in Congress are decoupling themselves from their long-standing skepticism and in some cases outright hostility to any new ideas dealing with gun control. All of that is being considered now in this supercharged atmosphere, and the White House is suggesting the president is in full listen mode, but when he speaks, Elaine, it's unmistakable that the, the, the things that he identifies as his priorities are very closely aligned with the National Rifle Association's priorities, specifically arming teachers and other school personnel so that, in the president's words, schools become a hardened target. He says they are not now. They are essentially an inviting and vulnerable target because they are gun-free zones. So on that point, Major, the president suggested bonuses for teachers with concealed carry permits. How realistic is that and where would that money come from? No one knows where the money would come from. No one knows how much it would cost. But during today's briefing, when it was suggested it could cost $700 million to a $1 billion, White House Deputy Press Secretary Raj Shah said, isn't that is that too much money to spend to protect our children? That doesn't necessarily mean this White House would endorse federalizing that support, but the money, as you accurately point out, Elaine, has to come from somewhere if it's even agreed upon that that's the best remedy for gun violence. There are plenty of school districts in this country that might think it is, but there are a good number of them that would also say the answer to gun violence is it more guns, concealed or otherwise, on school campuses? This debate, to the degree it's joined at all, is just beginning. Right. Major Garrett at the White House for us. Major, thank you.